Learning that I had Parkinson's was devastating. Tai Chi enabled me to build a relationship with my body again. Tai Chi teaches you how to make your movements more graceful, so I feel more at ease. When you see your body relaxing, it does make you feel better. You look with your upper arm, just kind of gently bowing and stretching. Switch. Uh, Parkinson's disease is the second most common neurodegenerative disease after Alzheimer's disease. For some time I've been suggesting Tai Chi as an alternative to conventional physical therapy um, as an intervention for people with Parkinson's disease who are experiencing balance difficulty. With a greater awareness of the effectiveness of it, we are recommending it earlier. And even down into your legs, and feet and toes. Feel them breathing too. Tai Chi is commonly referred to as a mind-body exercise, uh, a kind of meditation in motion. It integrates slow, relaxed, circular movements with deep, uh, oh, conscious breathing and a number of uh, cognitive skills like focused attention, whole body awareness, and it uses imagery and visualization. The goal isn't to learn complex sequences of, of external choreography, but rather we use simple movements that allow people to focus on the core principles that we believe are most therapeutic in Tai Chi. It engages me in a way I've never been engaged, the kind of movements you do or you don't do in anything else, you don't do in any other sport. What I enjoy so much is the sense of connection to my body, the ease of doing it, and the relaxation and sort of confidence of balance that I feel at the end. What's cool and different about Tai Chi is the fact that it's very non-stressful and very quiet, very graceful. And what I enjoy mostly about it is that it's converted me to a large extent from being focused on what happens next rather than being mindful of the present. One of my challenges is I have significant tremors in my left hand and left leg and the Tai Chi helps to relax the muscles. I notice a benefit right away seeing other people with uh, the same similar conditions um, makes me feel like I'm not alone. With Parkinson's um, there's a reluctance sometimes to be social and couples suffer. Being together having fun in some kind of a program like Tai Chi where both people have a shared experience that is a positive one and even a fun one is extremely important. If I have any anxiety about Jim's condition, then it's certainly I'm able to relax. Um, but I think also as a spouse, it's a way that we can support each other and be in a group setting that's safe and it's just a very nice group of people to be with. And when she doesn't feel like going backwards anymore, she's going to roll me off to her right and our hands are going to go roll. There's a growing body of research evaluating the health benefits of Tai Chi. To date, there's probably more than uh, 150 randomized controlled trials, and there's some good evidence that's emerging from this literature. And there's one published study that documented that six months of twice a week Tai Chi, with an emphasis on balance, was able to improve balance, and they compared those patients to two other groups, some patients that had conventional exercises and uh, it wasn't even close. The Tai Chi group had benefit that was measurable compared to the non-Tai Chi groups. All right, very good. Thanks for coming. We'll see you next week. I'm five years into this disease and I have pretty much no doubt that I'm doing as well as I am because of Tai Chi and all the different movement programs I'm a part of. I would recommend it completely to anybody who's newly diagnosed or is the spouse of somebody or a friend or a family member of somebody who has Parkinson's because you'll reap so many benefits. The, the health benefits and the support system is really fantastic.